Hi everyone, uh, I'm just recording a video, although I said I'd be taking a break. I'm part of one of the uh, forums on eating disorder recovery and um, the, the one that um, Nia Finlay from What Me Did Next um, set up a couple of years ago. And um, I've already been in touch with um, perhaps one of you who, who are listening are also part of that forum. So I just um, wanted to follow up on having said that I might be taking a break, putting up videos. I've, I've put up quite a few as I've just launched my channel and um, hope that with time um, you will be able to click through most of them and um, in the ideal case, get through um, all of them without, without skipping. I know that some of the content that I'm sharing um, asks a lot, uh, a lot of attention. But it's uh, it's something that to me is is natural. So the complexity of an issue like um, like the eating disorder that I have had, um, I see reflected in the kinds of uh, complications and complexities and many open questions and nuances to um, to answering questions in life in general. And so this video is only going up because. As I mentioned, as um, part of my advocacy, uh, that I'd be looking at eating disorders also through the kinds of topics that I deal with as an artist. And um, I've been able to luckily um, dedicate some time to, to working on creative projects. And one of them is going online next week. So I'm just putting a heads up here. I'll link um i'll link you the page of the initiative in in the description box it's called archivissima uh it's a it's a, um, a project that's been initiated a couple of years ago in turin in um in the piemonte uh, region of of italy so it's up north um bordering switzerland and um and france and they uh, they initiated this um somewhat naturally because in, in Italy Turin is known as the city of the book because there's the fair of the book and so Archivissima um, which is uh, a, a series of events that uh, open archives um, and, and allow um, other people into spaces and uh, to access information that is normally behind closed doors uh, it, it's natural that the, that enterprise would have begun in Turin but this year they um, they they expanded and so Milan which is in part where I'm from is also part of the Archivissima umbrella and um, one of the uh, one of the lesser known institutions in uh, Milan invited me to contribute to creatively respond to some content that they had in their archive and that is the uh, the, the Fondazione Corrente which was set up by um, an artist called Ernesto Treccani um, if you're Italian you will associate the name Treccani with the encyclopedia and uh, the, the, the the painter the artist was the son of the founder of the encyclopedia. That uh, seat is in Rome, but Fondazione Corrente, which is a, a separate entity, is, is in Milan. And um, they asked me to, knowing um, some of the topics that I often treat in my, in my artistic practice, um, namely collective memory and uh, collective experiences, they they were interested in how I would, um, also as somebody who's uh, who's Austrian, uh, respond to some of the content that they have in their archive. A lot of a lot of Fondazione Corrente um, has documents that uh, can be that, that trace back to the uh, the anti-fascist movement in Italy of the 30s and 40s, and uh, and I am therefore very happy to be able to. Um, online next week uh, present the, the, the work that I created. Initially the whole project was meant to be uh, physical, so I should have been in Italy. That's of course not possible at the moment. I'm based in Vienna and um, it wasn't at all uh, certain that Archivissima would uh, go on, but uh, it really is a, a like the a phoenix rising from the from the ashes. So uh, the fact that within 
a couple of weeks the, the entire region that was meant to be involved in Archivissima in real life um, went digital is, is really a very life embracing um, sign because as you may know Italy was particularly hardly hit by Corona and, and definitely was the first country in, um, in Europe and the fact that out of that Archivissima was still possible is is a wonderful thing and i can't wait to um to to share what what will be coming out of it um just a brief announcement there's a podcast wherein i talk to the 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 head of or rather the uh, the creative director of fundazione corrente and um so that's the podcast section then i uh do a a reading in italian of a, of a text that Ernesto Trecani wrote and I in part appropriated, in part um, uh, deleted. So I'm reading fragments of that text, which is called La Mia Città, so my, my city um, through the eyes of Ernesto Trecani. And I turn his city into my city, which already is the case. Milan is in part a city that I'm from, but um, uh, the idea is that anybody who knows Milan can respond to the original te uh, text that Ernesto Trecani wrote uh, with with their own ideas and their own recollections that uh, that they might have um, if if they've been to Milan. And then the last part, that's the most creative one, is meant to read like um, like a book. So the fact that it it's impossible for me to physically consult the documents that Fondazione Corrente has in Milan meant that I was uh, provided with some uh, with some footage material, with a documentary, with some photographs, with a map of Milan that um, uh, that the the creative director thought would interest me based on the practice that she knew I already had and and based on what I told her about uh, my own artistic archive. So really what what you get to see in the last part of that um, creative contribution is um, is a coming together of two artists' archives. One is that of Ernesto Trecani and the other one is mine. But I wanted the format, um, although it's digital, I wanted it to come as close to the physical act of leafing through uh, documents. So um, it's, it's, it's like a booklet. And you'll see that the the main section, the body of the of the work of that digital file, are um, images that I have extracted from the documentary that I saw about Ernesto Trecani, which is called Un Giardino Splendente, so um, a splendid garden, and and. For that content, I wanted to create the the cover, and the cover in this case is um, is me walking in in Milan, just behind where Ernesto Triccani had his studio in in uh, Via Carlo Porta, which at the time of the recording I didn't uh, I didn't know I hadn't known a couple of years ago that Fondazione Corrente. Um, existed and certainly not that Ernesto Trecani had his studio in the area. So it'll be a, a, a kind of reunion, um, an attempt at constructing uh, dialogues where they were meant to be physical in, in an abstract uh, digital space. And if you're interested, um, do follow the link. There's great other stuff to follow. There's a lot of there's a lot of other institutions that are contributing. Um, there will be interesting podcasts, and then um, oh, just in, in in order for you to have a perhaps a thematic overview, a very rough overview um, of of what theme everything falls under. That is uh, that is uh, the um, perhaps the way I would translate it in English um, from from the Italian il femminile or. Um, it's, it's through the, the eyes of a, a woman or, or a feminine um, take on, uh, on the contributions should be uh, filtering through, at least according to uh, the program and the, the, the sort of subtitle of Archivissima uh, 2020. Please tune in if you can. Um, I'm not entirely certain yet when, when the streaming uh, live will be taking place, but if you miss the uh, streaming, which should be on June 5th, um then the uh, the creative work 
and um, and the podcast and my reading of La Mia Città by Ernesto Trecani will be um, will be up uh, on the page of Fondazione Corrente. So that's it for now. I wanted to make a bit of a more creative video, which doesn't uh, strictly fit in uh, with eating disorders, but. Um, there are certainly topics um, like like war and the the extended aftermath of war and um, the fact that one is not always able to be in the space that one would like to be and the confusion that arises from these sorts of circumstances these are again uh, issues that um, if you know my channel you you will immediately associate with uh, with the rest of some of the videos that I've already been uploading so um, I hope that makes a bit of sense for those that are uh, open to experimental approaches uh, when it comes to talking about uh, recovering not only from eating disorders but uh, from a confused and overwhelmed mindset in uh, general. Please share this if you like and as always if you have questions um, reach out if you want. Bye for now and I hope you're well.